how would you describe people? Individuals. Individuals. Created by God to do something that they have to figure out. <laughs> oh, we're like free agents, aren't we? <laughs> Yes, sir. Actually, I thought it was quite funny. Trying to manage people is impossible, and that's really an amazing concept that should be told to everybody all the time. Yeah, yeah, really, truly. And and I got that beat into my head back in early 2000s by the Mastery Company, you know, and, and it is so true. So, Fred, how would you define people? <clears throat> impossible. <laughs> That's the joke line, but yeah, no, they, yeah, I, I, they are fascinating to me. They are oh, so, yeah. and I can't. The manager's job of trying to see if they fit in that role and can operate those SOPs is a fascinating job. But I have yes. not met. Yeah, yeah, and and the job of the manager is really to to find the best fit for that person. A lot of times I see people hire service advisors that work on the front counter and they're not people. They're not people people. Does that make sense? But they can put a fake smile on and they can do this a little bit, but they're very uncomfortable in that position. So if you're uncomfortable in that position, is that a good fit? No. Not at all. And a lot of technicians, I love this one shop owner in Houston, he said, Gary, he said, if I had to work the front counter, I'd burn this shop down. <laughs> and he was the owner. He says, I hate it. I hate it. I hate to deal with people. So I said, hire somebody to deal with people and you go do what you do best. And what he did best was work on cars and teach the technicians and help the technicians get the productivity out of the shop. And that's what he did. Everybody thought the service advisor was the owner because he took ownership of the business you know they said well the owner's not here and and, the, and and so he's in the back what's he doing in the back well he's fixing your car <laughs> and that just blew him away because they just did they didn't see how that worked well the owner should be up here so the owner was doing what he did best right and sometimes we as owners we get fed a whole bunch of garbage that we need to be up front running the business well we don't if that's not a fit for us, right? So Joe, how would you define people? Uh, I would say they were individuals with individual cares and concerns, wants and ideas, and uh, different ways of thought. Sure. And, uh, uh, you know, it's sort of like, people can look at one item and have complete different ideas about it. Uh, how to go, and, and so you have to, uh, again, maybe if you're getting off the subject, and then you manage that individual to accomplish what you need him to accomplish. And, uh, yeah. Or and, uh, so, and you take those individual ideas so to speak and uh, mm -hmm. you try to get them to see your idea or your vision or your direction yeah yeah so mike how would you define people uh probably the same way joe did i think uh uh human beings uh they look at life through their own filters and have their own agendas they do they do yeah he and said, the, a friend of mine said, every time he hires a new employee, Mike, when he watches him get out of the car for the first time, he goes in the trunk and brings all of his baggage in with him, right? <laughs> so he envisions, he envisions these guys going in the trunk, picking up all their baggage and bringing it in the building. Now, you don't see all that baggage when you're interviewing them, do you? And you're making that decision to purchase, to not purchase, but to hire that individual. You don't see any of that baggage. We see a little bit of it, but we really don't know, do we? Well, sometimes you see the guy who comes in and you <laughs> you're talking to him and he's leaning up against the wall. And I'm like, nope. No, no. As you start using the wall to hold yourself up, that ain't going to work for me. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, so that's interesting. So what people to you are people that lean on the wall, right? Yeah. They're, they're not the ones you want on the staff. <laughs> Gary, it's all. 
if um, Dothan is not that big, but if we had to go to the, the northwest part of town, I'm on the southeast, so that's a complete opposite. Uh, uh -huh. and, you, and you said, uh, and you're standing there with three or four different of your employees, and you say, I need you to go to uh, Cheddar's, which is a restaurant up there. And uh, you would probably get three or four different ideas of the best way to get there. Okay. <laughs> and that's, that's kind of interesting. Like an individual, you know, you, yeah. uh, you know, they, they, they you know, our, we see and everybody sees differently, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Interesting. You know, the number one conversation I've ever had with any shop owner or manager anywhere is about people. Mm -hmm. In my coaching career, it was just about people, 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 people. Well, Where do I find the right people? How do I get them to do what I want them to do? How do we, how do we make this work? And and it's it's an ongoing conversation. I think it's great because it fits in everything we do. And everywhere we go in life, guess what we have to deal with? People. <laughs> hey, guess what, folks? Pam, Fred, Jerry, Mike, Joe. 